What's up, everybody? My name is Lisa. For those of you that may not know, I am going to do a love reading between you and your person, whether you have somebody in your life or not, because I am getting like a, what I did pick up as I was shuffling the different decks that I'm going to use today um, was people getting ready to go on dates, dates or getting out getting out there, but kind of being suspicious of the other person. So there's some energy that needs to be healed there, work through so that you don't block what's coming to you. Yeah. See, there's, there's a transformation. I feel like you are going, undergoing transformation, massive transformation. I mean, the shit got burnt to the fucking ground here. All right. So it's got to completely regenerate. All right. It's, it's, uh, yeah. See healing, whatever. Yeah. And it's about taking a leap of faith in order to get to the good stuff, to get what really truly wants to come for you. What's really truly meant for you. A lot of you are, it's, it's, it's crazy because, um, we're coming up on Valentine's day, but I'm picking up a lot of like heartache, you know, and it's not so much like, there's a heaviness, but it's just like this deep knowing that something is done and it's, it's just moving on and, and moving forward. Okay. That's, that's what it feels like. So it's like in between worlds, you know, like that card in between worlds here. All right. Give me three cards, two more cards, two more cards. All right. One just flipped over. Yeah. See, I, I got this as a push. That's what I first heard. It's like the universe is pushing you. Okay. Um, through a metamorphosis. So it's like, once you get to the other side of this, it's like, you're a completely different person. Okay. Yeah. Look, change in the wind. See masks are falling off. Okay. Uh, something that this has all that glitters. So it's like something that some they're saying so, it, it wasn't what you thought it was. Okay. So deceived. Yeah. The tribe, but you're pushing towards Some of you have even like this betrayal came within your family. It's like you got betrayed by your, your tribe. Okay. And it just like completely turned your world upside down. Okay. And for others of you, it's like, I feel like what, whatever you've lost, it's like somebody turned out to be some, something, somebody that you just didn't want to believe they were. All right. What's one more card here? All right. We're getting to, yeah. See, look, I told you between worlds and happy, happy. This is where, this is where you're headed, but you know, it's like, don't stop here. Okay. This is why the universe has come in and given you a push. I do feel like I'm hearing extra energy. Okay. Drink water. All right. I'm hearing cut loose. Okay. Um, the key yeah. For entry is like this happy, happy. Yeah. And see, it's like wherever you're at now, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's, there's heartache that you're healing from. Somebody's healing from here. Okay. And this could be both you and somebody else that's coming towards you or the, your person. Okay. But it was, it was, it happened, whether this is so that you're connection could completely fall apart because whatever it was built upon was just, I'm hearing fragile. So it's like, it wasn't real to begin with. Okay. It was, um, false ideas, false hopes. Okay. And only to be born again, but it's like everything had to disappear from your life or within your connection. That's if you're connected to somebody that, um, you're, you're, you know, you know that you're going to rekindle with or whatever. Okay. So maybe you're, you're in a marriage or something that's just gotten distant and you're just going through a rough patch, but it's like the biggest rough patch that you've ever gone through. Okay. And it had to happen this way to 
break both of you completely down, okay? So, but you see that, yeah, see, blessed. Look, and here's the fates. See, this is what I mean. And there's a rebuilding. Some of you are moving into this freedom, but okay, they just told me, even if you are with someone where it's just like your relationship is going through some sort of pause, it's it's happening so that both of you can learn how to be independent together, okay? Because before, this is part of like why this all had to be broken down and go through this regeneration is because it was, you know, super codependent. Okay. There was some major off balance. Okay. And I'm a big believer, you know, my, my journey towards like opening my heart and my heart opening has all been about me, um, pushing through my codependency issues and learning to have a relationship with myself and love myself. And I'm a firm believer that as you heal and as um, we grow and develop and learn how to love and learn how to forgive, it's like we start attracting better love. So if you are, you know, people more um, that are doing the same thing, we'll just say it like that. Okay. So we're always attracting like people, what we believe we deserve, but as you heal and as you start to um, love yourself, you're going to start pulling in people that love themselves too. Okay. So if you're in a relationship where you know that this is your person and you're not going to leave that person or whatever, but you know that something's got to give, I'm hearing Camilla Cabela song, that Camilla Cabela song. It's like your, your, your relationship is, I mean, like, I feel like it's something it has gone through it, okay? And it has gone through it to for both of you to get to this bitter end of the road, all right? Only to realize that you can blossom on your own, that neither one of you need the other one. And that's the place of independence that's like respectful and I'm hearing peaceful, okay? So, if you're not talking to your person, your person is also going through this growth and development. That's the words that they keep um, saying, okay? The universe has their eye on both of you, okay? This has all been faded. You're, the steps that you're taking and the things that have happened, this breakdown, okay, in communication, all right? So some of you, it's like you don't know how to speak to each other. I'm hearing like people start yelling and cussing. It just gets abusive is what I'm hearing. Okay. And, um, so it's like, nobody wants to live their life that way. That is not the way that, um, anyone should have to live their life. Okay. But it feels as if you're undergoing this, and this is, e they're telling me that this is even within your Family, it's like anybody who's ever like loved you, okay, or that you've ever felt love for, like including your family. So you could have had like um, very toxic family members, very toxic friend circles. It's like this is all being healed or released. It's like the release of the anger, the release of the the resentment, okay. But it's also happening for these other people, or at least they're getting the recognition of. Um, the past. Okay. I feel like there's opportunities to rebuild relationships. That's, that's what I feel like is happening. It's like the relationships can be renewed or they're going to, be, you know, you're going to break off. All right. But there's something here about feeling the feelings and not like, you know, like when, okay, I, I like to share my experience like, because it's all I know, it's all I have is my experience. That's all I can speak on is my experience. And I share it with you in hopes that you can put it into, like, it helps you get things into perspective of the point I'm trying to make and like what I'm receiving, <coughs> not just from the card, but from my guidance here. 
Okay, yeah, there's something here. It's like very immature behavior. Okay, there's there's issues stemming from childhood. Everything. It's like they. I don't know. I've I've heard like they say that we develop um, the way that we are going to interact with people like for the rest of our lives until we unlearn, like learn something new, like before the age of four, I'm also hearing seven. So I don't know which one it is, but anyway, so you get the idea. All right. Um, I don't ever me memorize anything. Uh, Cause somebody told me not to, because it, it, that way I always have a reason to open a book. Okay. So <clears throat> anyway, so you're both learning. Yeah. See, look, let go of control. Okay. So maybe you're both control freaks. Maybe this is the issue with, within your partnerships and your connections is that you try to be in control. Okay. But I feel like these are, um, you know, because technically like we're all one, we all have the same things. We all experience the same things, just maybe in different different, I'm hearing different rhythms and rhymes. All right. So, but, um, this is also telling me there's some sort of like issue going on. People are using children as, um, Oh, I, I don't like that guys. Okay. The children are like innocent bystanders. Okay. And they're just observing, ob observing and absorbing what's happening in the household and between you and your person. Okay. And that is something that really needs to be put at the forefront of your mind before you open up your mouth. That's what, that's how they said it. So, um, I also feel there's, yeah, there's somebody here. I'm getting some court, sort of an, yeah, but this is part of like, this is going to be healed here. All right. Whatever's, whatever's being, what's ever been, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like something's being manipulated within the children. So I don't know. I'm feel I'm seeing like court. It's like something about like, maybe it has to do with child support or I feel like this is, um, the big reveal. Okay. Something is going to like, it's like, somebody's going to get caught, whatever it is. Like, cause I feel like somebody's lying about something. Somebody's doing it on purpose, doing whatever they're doing just to, um, th they're going to get caught. And this is what's going to help, uh, heal the situation or help you move forward, you know, to become independent and free so that you can move on past the situation. Cause some of you are leaving situations behind. Okay. And moving on to, um, be single and others of you are, your relationships are just like kind of going through this regeneration. Okay. So I'm going to get one card. Give me one card for the viewer, but do know that this is energy. You know, I'm reading your energy. Okay. It's, and it's like energy is fluid. So it's like this could go vice versa or whatever. So Give me one card for the viewer. Yeah, see, heartache. Here it is. This is the lies. Look, it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. And I feel like that's like what's happened here. It's like you found out somebody, somebody could have been caught cheating. Okay. So this, it's like also like you realized that, um, somebody wasn't who you thought they were. Okay. Maybe deep down inside, you always knew they were cheating, but it's like, you never had the proof. So it's like, I'm hearing that song until I hear it from you. Until I hear it from, I don't know. They just show me until I hear it from you, the words. All right. But this person is also about to take off the mask, but like the angel is taking off their mask because look at how gently she's like touching him. It's like, like for real, like what, what would your emotions be if you walked in a room and saw your person, or if you found out information that your person was with somebody else, it's like, look how calm, like she's so calm and elegant. So, and there's a, 
a little cherub about to take off this mask. So it's like, I feel like somebody's been too, too nice in a, a situation here. Like maybe you have to get something off your chest in reference to this. Like maybe you just have let it go or something. This is safe for you to love. But I feel like this person isn't saying, this person that caught, isn't saying everything. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. All right, so give me a card for the viewer's person. Safe for you to love. See, and in this card, it says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, and look at the card. You see how this guy is here? He's like, kind of like, he's here, okay, but he's not saying anything. Like, And she's about ready to ride off, okay? She's got all her shit. She's ready to leave. And he's like standing there. He, they're looking at each other. The cherub's like, I feel like the cherub's representing like some sort of divine intervention, like slowing this person down from actually leaving, giving this person an opportunity to say what they have to say. But it's like, instead of saying what this person has to say, it's like this person wants to know, wants this other person to know I'm here. So it's like, since I'm here, that should be enough. Like, why do I have to say sorry? Or why do I have to say anything? You know, it's like, can we just like move on from here? Let's just go from here. It's like somebody doesn't want to talk about whatever brought this person to their, the point of packing up her shit and leaving. Okay. He, she, what, you know, whatever gender you identify as. All right. So give me, um, A card for the connection, please, currently. Yeah, okay, so religious factors. This is one of my twin flame cards, okay? Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and a spiritual path, okay? This is free yourself. So there's some sort of stuck energy, okay? There's there's also this let go of control card here, okay? So, um... I'm hearing traditions and values, okay? You could be married and maybe you don't believe in divorce or it's like, th there's something like that here going on here. Cause this is also my card of differences. Okay. So like you just, it's like you just have different viewpoints on something here. Okay. And it could be, it's like neither one of you want to surrender control. Like neither one of you want to be seen as the weak one. Like both of you want to be in charge, but it's like relationships are about, listen, I'm just like learning that too, about give and take, you know? And, um, I feel like whatever this slowing down process, what's ever happened in, the, you know, within these other cards that we were reading first, it's like, there's been this, like, why you're in between worlds. It's like, there's this continued lesson of understanding others, learning to work with others, you know, to not stay bitter, even when scorned, you can have all the rights in, in the world you know, every right to fucking lash out and be malicious or whatever. But does that not make you just as malicious or vicious towards whomever else who's ever been that way towards you? It's like, there's something going on here. All right. It's like a battle that I feel like just keeps going around and around in a circle here. 
All right, what is the viewer going to do in regards to this connection? Yeah, see, I feel like you're just going to continue to love yourself, okay? It says you are lovable. Yeah, worth waiting for. You understand that the love you deserve is worth waiting for. Like, it's not necessary to just go jump and be with someone just so that you can say that you have someone with you. There's another card back here I want to get. Yeah, for yourself. I feel like this, you, the viewer, um, or this person, this energy on this, on this side, they are freeing themselves because maybe you've felt stuck in this relationship for a while. You know, it's like there's, there's this beautiful unicorn. Okay. In this cage that it's like, it's self-imposed here. What wants to show here? Yeah. See, there's going to be some dating going on soon. Okay. Somebody may even want to ask you out or you're just going to be going out. Okay. I feel like there's a desire to go out. Yeah. See, there's a separation happening between you and your person. But that unicorn, it's like it could very easily just step over that um, fence and just like run free in the in the forest there. All right. What is this other person going to do in regards to this connection? All right. So this other person over here is learning how to slow down in life. Okay. They could have a lot of distractions or be very active. So um, as to like tune out their emotions, but this person is being slowed down. Okay. And learning how to like be in the moment, stopping and smelling the roses. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I also feel like there's two people, like if you haven't met your person yet, it's like there's two people. Part of what this card is saying is there's two people being divinely guided to each other. Okay. That's why this is everything else has happened in the background. You both could be experiencing some sort of breakup, okay, and loss in your life, but you're it's like you're transit is just transitioning out of that heartbreak phase. Okay. Yeah. See, clearly decide what you want. So it comes to you now because it's like this energy over here, you know, part of the reason why this person is here, you know, right here and not saying anything is because it's like, I feel like this person also hasn't decided that what they truly want, you know? So They're still figuring it out. All right. Where is this connection headed to in the near future? Yeah, worth waiting for. Okay. It's divine timing is at work in your love life. And there's just a, a, a knowing that I feel is being stepped into here. Yeah. See, look, see codependency. You see that? So there could be addictions, but I feel like it's more codependency is like whatever's happened. Like one person was giving more to this connection than somebody else, or it's there's, there's just this off balance. Somebody wants their cake and eat it too. You, you know what I'm saying? There's this, like this off balance within the connection, but it's like, yeah, I'm hearing, can you meet me halfway, baby? What are that? There, that's a different song. Something about meet me. Mike. Why don't you just meet me in the middle? Something like that retreat. So there's still some downtime. You may even um, be asked by your person, for those of you that know your person, to go away alone together so that it's like there's some sort of rekindling happening. Okay? So... Um, What's underneath here? Yeah. Release your ex. Look, see, and some of like, this is that healing that's going on because there, it, there are many of you ending relationships, but also within this X card is like releasing the past of whom, like if you're trying to rekindle a relationship, it's like, you can't continue to bring up the past. It's like the past has to be shut down. Null and void is what I'm hearing or freaking both of you need to move on with your lives because what's the point of torturing each other and constantly bringing up the past and fighting? Nobody wants to fucking live that way. I don't <laughs> look true love. This is what's being come to you. It says, this is a romance of a lifetime. And I feel like, yeah, you know, now I'm hearing underneath it all by 
Gwen Stefani. All right, and then I'm going to get a unicorn card. Let's see some advice. What else does the collective need to know? Decide. It's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. And I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling like. See how there's this statue here with the the water and it's like there's one sitting over here. It's like, it just feels like stubbornness. It's like everything they want is right there. It's like this, this, this unicorn so thirsty. All right. And all it has to do is go through there. But it's like, it's like somebody doesn't want to give somebody else the upper hand or they feel like somebody's going to have the upper hand if they go over there or something like that. Look, and this says true. Yes. What you're asking about is the truth. All right, two more cards. All right, we got, look, relax. Everything is okay. Don't worry. It's all going to be fine. Okay? And it's okay to be different. You don't need to be like everyone else. You're perfect the way that you are. Because I'm hearing there's been a lot of self-doubt. There's a lot, and it's coming on this side of the, you know, the energy that was on this side here. And then it says light. See the light within yourself and everyone else. Yeah, because there's still some release, you know, of this anger and resentment, okay? Because it's time to let the past go. Yeah, free yourself. Yeah, see? And trust. Look, engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment, not just within yourself, okay? Because some of you are committing to yourself to seek that higher love, you know? And then others of you, it's like your, look, and this is new love. There's a new love coming in with a lot of passion. It's been a past life relationship. Like make the effort. Dang. And here's my twin flame card. Okay. And it's like, what, what I'm getting is that if it's a new person, okay, you meet them, you may not have met them yet. But this person is coming into your life because you stay committed to yourself, okay? And for others of you, it's like there is a past relationship <clears throat> that is rekindling, will have a slow rekindling, okay? And there is a new love. This person, um, I'm always drawn to how this person like is coming on bending hearing something about unbended knee. I think that was like a, I'm down on bend, bended knee, something like that. I don't know if I sang it. I, maybe it's boys to men. It's an old song, but anyway, you see how she doesn't have any shoes on. So it's like he approaches her somewhere familiar where she's, she's not wearing shoes. So like her home, Yeah. Somebody wants to take you on a date, but anyway, so, um, there is like a new spark of passion that could come into this new relationship or this rekindling of an old relationship. If you both make the effort, I feel like there's someone that needs to make more of an effort than somebody else. Cause I, you see how this little girl's just sitting here. It's like, she's acting like she doesn't really want this kid to come over and kiss her. But it's like, if this kid didn't climb this, this wall, and lean over and kiss her like she would be standing there fucking crying. Okay. So it's like, you really want it, but I feel like there, there's some sort of stubbornness happening between both of you. But one person I feel is going to step up and make more of the effort. And I feel like that person knows that they need to do that. Okay. So that's it. Uh, I do want to remind everybody that I am offering 50% off on my readings until Valentine's Day, the end of the day, Valentine's Day. You just have to go to my website and uh, use discount code LOVE, L-O-V-E, all capitals. So all the information's in the description box. All right. Bye, guys. I love you.